Hey everybody, I just launched my DIY kitchen nook. Now I need some cushions. Well, every time I looked at reupholstering cushions, they're so expensive. My DIYs are all about budget and saving money. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I upholstered two cushions for under $50. Typically the fabric that I was looking at was 40 to $60 a yard and I was going to need five or six. That didn't leave much room for the budget of material. So this is where I'm going to show you a super awesome tip. I'm so pumped about this. I have about four feet by four feet benches and it's under $50. So I've listed everything that you need down below in the description, but the key most important part of this DIY is blackout curtains. Come all folded up. So just make sure that they're ironed and flat and then turn them over. So the blackout side is what's going to be facing the foam. The foam is four by 16 and these panels fit perfectly. I didn't plan it this way. I was going to cut them to size, but if you get lucky and this happens, great. If not, just cut them to fit your foam. You love sewing, go ahead and sew that seam. Sew that seam, girl. I do not, and I don't own a sewing machine. I didn't want to do it by hand, so I used Gorilla Glue, which sticks to everything, and I pinned it and allowed the glue to dry. So now it's like wrapping a present. You fold the sides in, glue, pull it over and pin. Once it's dry, you have hassle-free, no sew curtains and they are cheap as heck. I say cheap, I mean budget-friendly because these curtains are very good quality. Now I'm sure the glue is going to hold just fine, but I did go back and tack every four to six inches with some really th thick thread, just in case. This is the super fun part. I tried paint, I tried half and half with water, and then I also tried this paint pen, which was complete crap. Don't get those. The best thing I found was half paint, half water, and you can design these cushions in any way you like. So then I found a couple of cool ideas. People have been painting wallpaper on their walls, so I thought, okay, if that works and looks beautiful on walls, it's definitely going to give me the desired look I want on my cushions. So I tried a couple of striped effects and then I found this super cool chevron idea, chevron -y. Anyway, that's the one I stuck with because it was super nice. I folded a piece of paper in half. I know I totally could have measured it, but this made it so much easier. I taped my lines off and then I did my chevron pattern on top of the lines. Okay, I am so hype right now because these turned out so good. There's no fancy input or output of this video. I just had to share the tips. I don't even have the second one done yet, but I wanted to get it out there and show you guys how to do it because it's just too good. I'm probably gonna do it on some pillows now. I'm just, everything's, I'm painting everything, that's it. Thanks for watching.